is a scheduled gathering for your child to play with another child or children. Right. <laughs> it can be a great way for your kid to meet other kids and beef up their social skills, mm -hmm. but it also forces parents to be in the same company, especially with smaller kids. Yeah. So what happens when you don't like being around your child's friend's parents? Because they are, um... Not cool. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe you don't get along with them. You know what? And that happens to me all the time. You know, when... Oh, uh, you've called me. You've well, texted me. Yes. From, from play dates and been like, oh, my God, this woman. Yes. I, no, I know. And a Angela used to go with me when my daughter was in preschool uh, to all her little shows. And we would... I mean, the parents were so snobby and awful. I mean, we would sit back there and we would just go, wouldn't we? I mean... Ooh, ooh. But this is the thing. We, what do we always say, Francis? Mm -hmm. If you follow a stupid child home... You find a stupid parent. It's genetics, people. Yes. It's just called science. Yes, yes, we yes. We didn't make the rules. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So joining us in the studio today is psychotherapist Dr. Sanam Sriamtobi. Welcome to Me Time. Welcome. Hi, thank you. for having me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. So what should a parent do if they don't care for another parent on a play date? Or like detest, hate, loathe. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I think you both actually brought up a great thing, that you would talk about it with each other. Yes. You know, so I think having that friend that you go to to vent about it can be such a good outcome outlet instead of like you know giving the stink eye to the parent right. or showing it to the kid and telling your kid on the way home like I don't like Johnny's mom you yeah. know like instead of dumping it on the, yeah. the child yeah. find someone else to talk about it with when we were my daughter was much younger and we would go to like the park and play with other kids I, there was one parent who was like I don't like the, the kid wouldn't let other children play with their toys mm. right sure. and the parent was like well you know we won't uh, get into the middle of that of their politics we we want our child to. And I was I'm just sorry. Like, I thought we called that parenting. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that interfering in a child's political agenda? <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you parent. Exactly. So, you know, it's just dealing with people who have completely different philosophies. Totally. Than you. You know, how do you how do you bridge the gap between people? Well, I think that that's a great question because right now parenting style and all these parenting books, they're bringing up these different philosophies about how to do it. So one parent might say, we don't say no to our child mm -hmm. or, you know, so there are these varieties of things that can show up and a parent can just fundamentally disagree. So I think one of the things to do is remember that I think parents are all doing their best. Yes. I think they're all pretty anxious, mm -hmm. trying to figure it out, make sure they don't damage their kid. And so when you approach it from that kind of empathetic point of view, even if you don't agree, it allows you to remain kind in those interactions, yeah. or at least civil, which I think is the best case scenario. Yeah. yeah, I love those. These are the parents that I, I love. They do the passive aggressive judgment on your parenting. <laughs> yeah. The ones where they look at you, you your kid, they go, oh, so you let your child eat whatever they want. Yeah. <laughs> so that's sugar. But they smile yeah. through it. Yeah. Like, they're not I'm like, I know you're judging her. Yeah. And then you could just be like, yeah, sure. And then give your kid extra popsicles because, yeah. you know, that's like what you <laughs> that's want. That's what I do. Yeah. So you're saying don't confront the parent. Don't try to have a check-in or a talk or a, you yeah. know. Even that you don't have to be friends with your kid's parents. Absolutely yeah. not. I mean, who, who said that that's what we need to be doing as parents? You know, as long as you're modeling good behavior for your child, let's say you have an issue with a parent and want to confront it, model, you know, good conflict resolution for mm. your kid. You know, I think that's the big thing. Kids are paying attention to you all the time, whether or not you think it's happening. That's right. So they see how you interact with other parents. Mm. So just keep, you know, keep yourself and you how you want a parent at the forefront. Yeah. yeah. And I don't think it's necessary to teach other parents how to do their job. Yes. It's a very dangerous area to get into, I have found. Yes. 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 But I, as a kid, I remember having, being in situations where, like, my parents, my mom was friends with somebody, and so that sort of meant that we had to hang out with yeah. friends oh, kid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we went to social media and asked, have you ever disliked the parent of one of your child's friends? 80% of you <laughs> said yes, 20% of you said no. And, and we think that 20% of the people that, the, the, 
That's the people that 80% hate. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, yeah, what yeah, I yeah. think. That's the science. Right, right, right. Rebecca Donnelly L Lisecki commented, a wise friend of mine once said, the only thing worse than other people's kids is the other kid's parents. Yes, it's true. Well said. It's well said. Well said, okay? And here's the thing. It's like, now, going on play dates, you're, you're, you're going online. So you're experiencing a whole nother level. It's like online dating, yeah. right? And oftentimes, it feels like parents have a rejection level. You can be rejected. Yeah. By, Absolutely. by parents, right? Absolutely. Because even though as parents, you know, we're not seeking out friendships necessarily, mm -hmm. it is nice to feel like you have a community where you can go and talk about, you know, the teachers or your shared experiences of having like four or five year olds, get advice. And so we all want to feel accepted. And yeah. it's difficult when that's not happening or we're just like, you know, I don't vibe with any of these parents or I don't agree with how they think that can be really difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a friend who had a kid in a school and she was ostracized yes, thinking about by that. all the parents. And it was, it was, you know, cause she's a little bit out there, you yeah. know, a little, yeah. you know. A little bit different than they are. Yeah. And they just were like ice cold. Yeah. Well, she can be my friend then. Cause oh, I like those hey. <laughs> weird to be in a situation where people are, you know, swiping left and swiping right, mm -hmm. rejecting kids and parents. Being like, yeah. I don't like none of your first grade parents. Yes. <laughs> none of them. <laughs> like, it's, it's interesting to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think that's kind of what's important to remember is like, we can't customize people to be exactly what we want them to be, mm -hmm. you know? Wait, we can't? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I know. Okay. I wish we could. Yeah. I wish we could, but we can't. And so maybe we show some parents who are a little quirkier, just a little more grace the same way we hope that they give that to us in return. Yeah. And then See if we could get some harmony there, you know? Okay. And I try to do this thing called the fascinated anthropologist. Oh. When somebody says or does something that you really don't like, some behavior that's like, you're mm -hmm. like, what's wrong? I just try to pretend I'm an anthropologist and I find their behavior fascinating. Yeah. And it helps me get through the moment. I'm just like, how fascinating that you're being so terrible right now. Excellent, mm -hmm. excellent. Well, we have some tips uh, about what you can mm -hmm. do, you know, with other parents, how parents can kind of smooth it out. And sure. one of the things that you've talked about, you don't have to be best friends with everybody's no. parents, right? You don't. Right, right, right. And as adults, we may not be open to making new friends. And, you know, and they may not want you as part of their friend group. Right. And that's okay. Right. Because essentially the priority is the child. So mm -hmm. as long as the child is making friends and as long as you feel like they're healthy friendships for your kid, that's kind of the priority. So, uh, right, not about me. Right. right if right. we keep them first, oftentimes that can help smooth it over a little yeah. bit. Me time with Frangela.